Hey guys, uh, we're back here with Lindsay Norman and she's here to talk about some parklets that will be in the downtown Missoula area. So first of all, what is a parklet? So a parklet's really a temporary um, park. It's also call, called a park pop-up park and um, it's where you take a, a parking space and you you put down astroturf you put down patio furniture um, there can be just like a nice place for someone to sit and they really can just enjoy it and realize it as something other than just a parking space and um, it actually started in San Francisco in 2005 as an art project that um, an artist had put up just for a two-hour period which was the lease of the parking spot at the time and um, since then it's really kind of exploded and places like San Francisco, Seattle, Washington DC they actually have permanent parklets that are set up um, around town and um, so here in Missoula, Missoula in Motion is um, the organization that I work for and we're kind of the ones that put it on and we do it during first Fridays September or June through September and um, it's just kind of an opportunity for local businesses to to adopt a space and um, just kind of make people see what else it can be. So, so uh, what do these parklets look like, um, essentially, in Missoula? So it can be um, like Fact and Fiction has done, they've been a great partner and done one and they'll set up like a little bookshelf and so they'll have like a couch and um, the astroturf down and then they have like a little border around it and they actually have like a free library there. So somebody can come and they can take a book, read, they can um, enjoy some coffee. Missoula Motion tries to provide coffee for all the different parklets. Um, Wardens has been another really great partner. They've kind of put up like a big umbrella patio furniture type thing. Um, so that's just been a really great space. And I think that um, this is going to be the third summer that we've been doing it now. And I think at first people were like a little apprehensive or like didn't want to go sit in it. But now that they're just seeing them more frequently and kind of realize what they are, I think that they're um, more inclined to go and actually enjoy the space. Yeah. Um, and from what I've noticed is that uh, there's been a couple other uh, places that kind of put out these uh parklets as well. I've seen them out front of the the green light, the 406 store. They've had, I think they've had like two parking spots at one point where they uh, kind of like have a long extension and it looks like it's a nice cool little park where people can just hang out in. Yeah, definitely. And I know the Parking Commission has just been a really great um, partner with us in just donating the space all day long. And so normally they're set up um, from 10 a.m. until about 8 in the evening. So that kind of goes into First Friday. And so you can go out there, you can have lunch, you can have like a business meeting, you could just go um, hang out for a little while um, and another one that was really cool was um, one of the, I believe it was Radius Art Gallery They set one up and it was actually like an art gallery So you could go into the parking space and then they have like little walls set up and um, they were just displaying different artwork So so um, there are uh, many opportunities for many businesses to actually do this So um, how can people uh, do this themselves here in Missoula? Yeah, definitely So we're currently recruiting um, new businesses and businesses that have done it in the past and really all that's involved is that um, you can go to our website, MissoulaInMotion.com, and then um, we have a parklet tab, and you can just go there, and then it's just a Google form that you fill out, and um, then we have like a little liability waiver you have to sign, but really um, you're just responsible for setting up the space, so the parking commission will come and block it off in the morning, and then um, it's just kind of yours to do what you want with. So we have lots of different examples. Um, like I said, I mean, the bookstore, the art gallery, the just kind of general patio furniture, and then, um, yeah, different businesses can kind of put their spin on it and really make it their own, so. Well, that sounds really yeah. cool. Um, um, and you guys usually do it first Fridays? Yeah, first Fridays, June through September. So today we're going to have um, Fact and Fiction is again doing one, and then we have the Jeanette Bacon Peace Center um, over on the hip strip. They're going to have one over there. And then also, um, just as a more unofficial parklet, the Ecology Project International EPI, um, they're kind of on Third Street, I believe, behind the bridge there. They're going to um, be closing down that whole cul-de-sac wow. and having kind of like a, a little block party, like unofficial parklet. So um, <laughs> just another way to like see the space as something more than just a street that people drive on. So. Well, great. Well, thanks for joining me this morning. Um, is there anything else you'd like to say? No, I think that's all. Go check them out. And they'll be set up at 10 o'clock, Fact and Fiction, and um, Jeanette Reagan Peace Center. So. Well, thanks, Lindsay. Yeah, thank and you.